Hey, I'm Marna and this is the Dolls Rescue Channel and we are on our way to an adventure. You can see we live on a gravel road. Here's the Katy Trail where it turns to pavement. We will show you more. Daisy's sitting here in her little car seat and she has her, she's always given the peace sign, she has her little dolphin with her today which I don't know, she doesn't have as good a grip on it as she usually does her alligators and lizards. I'm gonna get a Katie Trail Sedalia um, bear. How cute is that? But I gotta check out the faces because that's how I pick out my stuffed animals. Daisy's peeking in. Daisy's looking good. Away. <laughs> She's gonna help pick out her new friend. I found a booth that is dolls and doll clothes at the train show and the lady here is delightful and she also is like me, collects dolls and has too many. Set her hair. No That's okay. Um, show you where. You all probably don't know this, but I actually have my own train set in Z scale. I absolutely love this stuff. But talk about when hobbies collide. Go in on prices. It gets a bit pricey, but it is so fun. Gomez was here, we'd see a lot of fun. Crashing, explosions. This is what I do. This is the fun scale here. Still tiny, but not as tiny as a Z, so. For scale, here's Daisy. That that stuff are rubbed up. I'm thinking of buying Daisy a dollhouse. How cute would that be? That scale looks about right, don't you think? But she's gonna need some peoples to go with it. So we're back from the train show, and I have a whole slew of lice with me. Daisy lost her um, little dolphin. Dog on it, we're going to have to go back to the St. Louis Zoo and buy her some more of those pets. She still has lizards and an alligator, and I'm going to put one in her hand after this. But I even looked around on the floor. It was gone. Somebody picked it up and thought it was part of a train stuff. Let me show you what we did get. Uh, most of these dolls are here for a purpose. The first thing I bought, you're going to love it, a little car for Robert. I have two boy blice. I have Rex and Robert, um, and I have a third one coming. I had Daisy with me, and I held the car up to her to make sure it was the size I wanted because there are, you know, different scales of trains. Um, one of the booths that I took Daisy to, the man and woman were sitting there and we were chatting and she kept looking at Dolly and said, it's a black doll. She said, oh, my sister had one of those when we were kids. So we talked for a while, but I found that fun. Then there was a lady that had a doll booth 
um, all kinds of dolls. And I forgot to go back and buy a doll. Guess that won't hurt. But she had made all sorts of things for 14 inch dolls. And I thought, that's so beautifully made. And uh, she was only asking $8 for the set. And I thought that was such a good deal that I bought it for my chubby and we're gonna try it on in a minute. Oh, when we first walked in the door, I have said before, Darren and I are cyclists, he's been injured, we're not able to ride right now. But we normally rode 2,500 miles a year. And, and no, I'm not exaggerating. And we moved to a home that our front yard uh, touches the Katy Trail, which is the um, rails to trails across Missouri. And we have ridden the Katy Trail both directions, end to end, several times. So when we went in and I, and I saw this bear, had to have him, and he was half price at $10. I thought he was adorable. Love him. And then Darren got some things. Darren has enjoyed um, model trains since he was a kid. He has an uncle, a couple of uncles, that um, enjoy model trains. But the one uncle was really into it and did not have children and was always tickled when Darren came and uh, they enjoyed his train set. Up until the time that his uncle died, they still talked trains, which I thought was really cool. Um, I bought this. I bet you didn't know that I also have a tra train set. Uh, big surprise. I, you know, people say, what else do you collect? Oh my God, I, do you have do you have a pen and paper? Because you won't remember the long list that I have. I have a Z size train, actually a couple of Markles. Um, really love them. I have a Christmas and then a, a regular train. Um, and I, you know, they're, they're about this big. Anyway, I went and bought Daisy. Tina at Tina's Reborns built her little Blythe dolls a dollhouse and I oh it's so cute and while this is not the same or as large nor can I reach in the back and do things I thought that was really cute look what I paid I I really like it. it's got the front porch it's got the back stairs little chimney it's just cute that's HO also so then she needed dolls to go with it so I was looking at the little people god they're so expensive but I found these, <laughs> and what I was really after was the dog in this set. This is an HO set of police, so it's going to be a police family in her house. But what I <laughs> Or a drug bust. Yeah. <laughs> what I really wanted was that German Shepherd dog. How cute is that? So this is for Daisy, and that's for um, Robert. That's for me, these are for Darren, and let's try these on my chubby Blythe. So as you can see the outfit, well the sweater and the purse are really cute on Marge. I, oh, adorable, I love the sweater. These are uh, working buttons, she did a beautiful job on the knitting. Pants, I'll take a pass on those. I'm gonna make Marge some jeans or attempt to. I wanted to point out also, we bought these cars because they are KT cars. Um, K, what is it? K, MKT, right? Yeah, Missouri, Kansas, and Texas. That there was the name go. of the railroad that used to run across our front yard here. And they called it Katy, which was the ticker number at the stock exchange. And then Rock Island is actually a, another that set, that another uh, yeah. rain, train that ran just south of us and crosses right. the Katy Trail. And then we went shopping. We went to Hobby Lobby. I love these. I think that is so cute on the little Mitty Blythe. The boots, not so much, but it'll give you a pattern uh, to work from. So I came home and I made her these, <laughs> these little little gold leggings to match the gold on the um, buckle. Oh, her one of those slippers coming off. And then I made her the little hat. I think it's cute, I, I really do. Um, 
and they fit. They fit pretty cute. I slid it up the back. I'm going to add uh, either Velcro or snaps. Also, while I was at Hobby Lobby, I got some more fabric on sale. This is all they had left of this um, leopard print. I thought, I'm going to kick myself if I don't get it. So I got these, and we stopped in the Dollar Tree. We have a very small Dollar Tree. We live in a very small town. And I picked these up because I need these white shirts. They go with uh, so many skirts and different things, and they're just quick and easy. Um, I got, you saw the pink uh, dress I took off of the, uh, off Marge, my chubby Blythe, and I bought some fall colors I want to try. And then they had, if you are in a Dollar Tree and you see these little purple, let me show you, I was going to pull that off, but I won't. These little purple couches, I bought uh, two of them. And I'm going to wish I, I, I think they only had two, didn't they? I don't remember. I like these because I'm going to try covering one. A Blythe can sit in them, and it, it supports the head. But watch this. How cute, how whimsical is this on the couch? You know how kids lay and watch TV? I, I just think it's cute. She's always given the peace sign, and she needs her little put her foot down like this, give her some motion. But these are $1.25 and really cute little props. Like I said, I'm going to try to, oh shoot, I'm going to try to uh, cover one. And if it works out, I'll do a video on that. Thank you for watching the our adventure last Saturday. Please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.